Yo, it's your fellas easy here, teaching how to split files over four gigs and making it work on your custom firmware PS3. In addition to Project Dreamy Theater, how does it work on the PS3 system? So basically what you have to do is, you know, usually when you get a, a file or whatever for, for, uh, for Dreamy Theater or whatever game it is, it applies to all games. What you basically need to do is um, split them. Since PS3 is formatted to FAT32, I don't know why though, but that's just Sony. We gotta split the files. Let's, uh, since I have Project Dreamy Theater extended, it says, you know, five gigs, right? You're like, oh, how the hell am I gonna split these files and put into my PS3 without having a derp saying, oh, you can't do that. So basically what you need to do is have a program called PS3 Splitter. I'll stop it right here. PS3 Splitter. This is the program that you want, right? We get the program, download from whatever. I'll provide it in the description. All right, let it open. All right, now it's gonna open this little box right here. So you just go to execute, look for the file, go to extended, and then just click okay, because the file is here. And it's gonna look for a file. It says file one large file located at da 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 kg. So now we gotta wait for these files to split. So we wait. And we're done. All right, now we just close the program. Now, since these files are split to five pieces, it should be five all together. Let me see. There you go, 5.5. 5.5. We have two files that are exactly the same, right? All right, since there's six files all together, we can move on to the next step, which is moving it into your USB. Now you just get a USB from somewhere, right? And um, make sure it's formatted at FAT32 since PS3 only reads it that way. So make sure it's, you know, enough space and it's FAT32 right here, FAT32. Click OK, move the files here, we're going to cut, then paste. Alright, while well, that's doing that, we're going to take the next step and move on to the PS3. Alright, the next step is going to Multiman on your PS3. So download Multiman, install it on your custom firmware PS3. Make sure it's a custom firmware PS3, because if you, if you want to do it on your regular PS3, Ain't gonna work, and I don't know why you're wasting your time on this. Well, anyways, you gotta go to the um, you gotta go to Multiman, right? Just go through the XMB menu, like something like this. If you don't know what an XMB is, right? Now, through when you uh, when you open X uh, Multiman, you have to scroll. It'll link you to like games or something. You have to scroll to the right, all the way to the left, and go to File Manager or slash MMOS which is, I guess, multi-man operating system or something. So you go there, and it's gonna look something like this, right? It's gonna look something, this looks like KDE from Linux. So yeah, since this is basically like Linux, um, we're gonna open the PS3 root and find your, the, the split files, right? So since I have a 32 gig, this is the right you know amount. It'll be USB 7 or wherever it is. You open it and these are the files right see how they're like in tiny numbers and stuff all right don't worry about that those are just those are just the files split into pieces so we're gonna open another folder and we're gonna go inside the ps3 hard drive right where it says dev hdd0 sorry with the mouse scroll hdd0 you're gonna open that and look inside packages. Sorry, these things are just kind of hard to control. Okay, do not go to pay. Do not go to pay KG. Do not go because it won't work. And just don't. Just go to packages where it says packages. Just go there. It works. All right. Now you see how it's, there's a file that says nine gigs. Uh, basically, what the program is going to do is combine the files into one piece and making it work with your PS3, even though it's over four gigs, which is kind of crazy. 
So basically what you gotta do is copy. Okay, you see how it says one, two, three, four, and five? Make sure you copy this one, the one that has a double zero. It may look like it has uh, one gig, but in reality, uh, hello, there you go. Um, but in reality, it's um, it'll be the right amount. So just press circle, you copy, and then you press circle again, and you paste. Now it's gonna say, you know, that stuff. Just say yes. It's just gonna tell you these files are gonna be copied to this, and it's gonna show you basically that it's being copied. See how it says five gigs already, five point six thirty nine megabytes. It's basically combining the files and putting it into your PS3. So now we gotta do is wait and wait. All right, now we're done uh, copying the files, right? So that's done, we close this, right? We don't need this anymore, we, we don't need that anymore. Fuck, there you go. We don't need these anymore. So you gotta go back to the main menu, right? Now it's gonna go, you have to go where it says install package files. Basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna do the whole process and combine the files into one. Focus on the first file, not the second. That that one doesn't matter. Just go on the first one where it, where it says HDD0 packages. Just focus on that one. Just that first file is all you need to worry about. So we install and that's it. Let it wait for it to install. Give it a few moments. And now it's gonna launch us to the main X and B main right here. All right. Now, since that is installed, we need to basically go to the package files, right, in your in your custom firmware PS3. Oh, keep in mind, it works. This 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 basic tutorial is for 3.55 and above. So yeah, um, basically, get that file, right? You get that file, and basically, you're just gonna install it. And more waiting. All right, and we're done. Cool, cool, cool. All right, after you're done installing the file, it'll it'll show the Dreamy Theater, since basically I am covering this. So it's gonna show the game. You can't really play it since, um, since these package files, or PKG, are massive and they're like over five gigs or whatever the amount is. It's usually because they're ripped uh, from the PSN. It's basically a PSN version of the game. So you can't just play it like a regular, like a regular game because it'll show this. You know, can't, content can't be used. We knew license for PlayStation Store. So in order for you to do that, <clears throat> we gotta install um, patches. We gotta update the game and install patches. So since um, most of these uh, files come with like a, a package, uh, uh, um, a patch with a fix. So we're gonna update the game first. We're gonna make it to 1.1. So give it, it won't take that long compared to the others. So while this is installing, it's basically updating the game, right? Uh, after we update the game, we have to basically patch the update now. So it could bypass this uh, PSN thing. Um, I did this before, but I'm just doing it as a tutorial. So yeah, and now we can finally launch the game. All right, there you go. See, now the game's working. It's loading like it's supposed to. And now we can play the game. And there we go, Project Gema Theater Extended version 1.1 as you see in the corner now the game is going to tell you to make a save I already have a save for this game so I'm just gonna load it um, there's a whole it, to make the um, if you want to get let's say your your save from your PSP and you want to make it work on your PS3 that's a whole nother procedure and um, I'll make a video about that you know the next time but for now we just want to get the game and how it works and all that stuff right so since I already have the save, it'll you know 
Uh, once you have it, have your PSP linked, like on your on your files or whatever, it'll basically copy the PSP to your PS3. It's it's a whole other operation, but I'll cover that like the next um, maybe next time. So there you go. With my with the save files, I provide them in the description. I'll give you my save for Dreamy Theater Second and Extended. Second has Dreamy Theater One included. So you don't have to go through buying a PSP and converting it and all that all that massive headache. I'll do that for you. All you need to do is convert the save and make it work on your PS uh, PS3 account. Since um since I already have a save, all these will probably be in the system, so which is pretty cool. Uh, I haven't played too much. I've been starting to play, but um I guess I'll I guess I'll show you how this game works. It's at 60 FPS, so it's better than Project Diva, right? So it's just pretty cool. And uh, I guess I'll end it with just with this song. So enjoy the show, guys. And uh, it is your fellow DJ here teaching you how to split files over 4 gigs, including how to play Project Diva Extended. So anyways, enjoy the show. Eh, not bad for a, for for a non warm up. 